Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double X. Mic check, mic check. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to Positive Power Double XI Christian Media, and you're listening to Pastor's Time with Dr. Paul Kelly and his special guest. They call her the Singer Machine. Her name is Tylene Harris. Welcome, everybody. Share this file. It's going to be an exciting podcast. You know how Dr. Paul Kelly be bringing it. You know how he bring it. What's going on, Dr. Kelly? What's up, sir? I'm I'm filling the power with Jerry Royce live. Praise God. That's Amen. Right. Happy to be with you, sir. Amen. Amen. What's going on this evening in the Charm City? Charm City. All right. All right. I'm going to give you the quick update real quick. Of course, this week, the 21st. Is that this week or next week? Maybe it's next week. I get my days mixed up. <laughs> the 21st, we'll be celebrating five years in podcasting on PositivePower21.org. Isn't that wonderful? God is good. 
Child. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Next week, Jerry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next Friday. Right. That's right. The 21st. All right. So we just want to let everybody know about that. Of course, you know, we're moving into the, the big holiday. The big holiday is coming up. And um, we got a lot of Christmas songs coming our way. We want to try to share as much as that as we can as people send them in. And um, and uh, we we still shooting we still shooting shows. Uh, we got Zenobia join us now on late night talk show with Jerry was live worldwide, and um, we supposed to have a special guest in the studio tomorrow. So you guys get a chance to see a little bit behind the scenes. So uh, we are excited. God is good. God is good. We still got my journey doing this thing on WATC. So check that out, everybody. Uh, this week, um, hopefully, they'll be airing uh, season two. Starting up, we'll be opening up with Sandy Red from The Voice. If you guys remember her, she was a contestant with The Voice, did very, very well. But she was a guest on my journey uh, that was actually uh, recorded in Atlanta. So you get a chance to see uh, Paula G uh, doing her thing. That's right, on camera. So um, uh, check that out at this Thursday at uh, 11.30 a.m. That's right. Go to WATC.TV. Or if you got Roku, Hulu, Apple TV, Google Play, you catch it there too. But you can always just go to the website and watch it right there streaming live. And if you miss it, you catch it Sunday at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock at WATC.TV too. Look for T-O-O. So they got two different networks. So check it out. All right. So that's pretty much it, Doc. I and mean, we got so much going. We just, we'll take up the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Especially amen, with, you know, amen. You know, new artists, new new podcasters. Lakeisha Mosley show has joined joined us, so that's awesome. Amen. That's right. Shout out to Lakeisha Mosley. Yeah, that's right, Miss Miss uh, Nita. Uh, her show. Um, uh, what's that? Next level and beyond. Atlanta sign back on uh, TV. Another small TV deal on Music Vision. So that's exciting. So she's back with us. Uh, that's produced by Linton. Linton Smith out there in uh, South Carolina. So uh, great things. Yeah. And, of course, we got uh, Stephen Turner joined us, too. You catch his show. I know you caught that Elevation Radio 1 coming out of Charm City, Baltimore. He he brings the facts, you know, Christian update news about politics and everything that concerns the community. So I, I want to encourage people to check out um, Steve's show. It's a really good show. He really surprised me. I went to engineering school with him. <laughs> he really surprised me. You know, musician and everything. Hallelujah. Doing a powerful political show like that. Bringing it Christian style. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Pastor Stephen, amen. That's right. Shout out to him, sir. Amen. We enjoyed him last week on the panel of Next Man Up. Shout out to him. Yeah, sir. yeah. Let's not forget how old Steve was on that show. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I got to look at my calendar because I'm getting some dates mixed up. Um, I gotta see if we doing. I think I, I think we're gonna um be on a road trip, so we may. I think this is the week I'm on a road trip because uh, Scatter Girl is finishing up her exams and um we're gonna be doing a road trip. So I believe <laughs> this is the week <laughs> for the road trip. So uh, I'll let you guys know more about uh, the celebration. We're gonna have everybody come on and you know give testimony and about radio and everything. So that'd be the twenty first. I don't know why I thought the twenty first was. This week, I'm rushing Christmas. That's all right. That's Batman. That's Batman. See, yeah. he, he he's able to leap tall buildings and sing a bounce. Yeah, he like, did. That's, that's what, he's over there on twenty first on next Friday. Yeah, he already working ahead of time. He he's like a week ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Got to calm him down. Yes, sir. Yeah, my alter ego. He's out of control. <laughs> he just want to work. It's all right, though. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> it's all right. It's always good to have Pretty one, everybody. Good. Keep you under, keep keep you keep you under control. Keep you sane. That's right. It's awful. One person to handle all this stuff in this world, right, Doc? It's hard. Yes, sir. Yeah. I agree, sir. Amen. Yeah. All right, Doc. Well, look. I hope you enjoy your guests. Uh, we just finished hearing "Solid Night" by Talene, the machine, the machine. So uh, we, we let's let her out. Let's yeah. let's bring it in, in the queue. All right, show so yours, Doc. God. Have a great show. God is good. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, award-winning producer Jerry Royce. Live, we thank you, Amen, for those updates. Praise God. Amen. Nation. Amen. Are you ready? Welcome, Amen, to another powerful episode of Pastors Time International Bible College. 
Hey, man, I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly, and my beautiful and lovely wife, my co-host sends her love, Marcia Kelly. Hey, man, she embraces you all and sends her love definitely every Tuesday night. Some some nights she's able to join us, hey, man, but she has church night on, on Tuesday night. She's singing in the gospel hey, last, uh, the last month or so. I think last month, hey, man, uh, we had a, a world gospel artist, praise God, Brian Poppins, amen, at our church out here in Augusta, Georgia. You've seen him, amen, on the Potter's House singing there, amen. He was at uh, the Beautiful Grove Baptist Church. So she's there on Tuesday nights doing her choir rehearsal. And we thank God for my lovely wife. But we thank you for tuning in, amen, to this powerful episode. We're ready to bring on, nation, amen, this awaiting, praise God, uh, uh, Beautiful anointing, Kayleen Harris. Amen. I'm just going to introduce just a little small part of her bio, and she's going to come in and tell us who is Kayleen Harris. Amen. She is an award-winning artist known for her angelic voice and explosive stage presence. Amen. She is a Youth Gospel Choice Awards Best Female Artist. Amen. As her bio eloquently explains in 2008, and is setting the standards for the gospel music industry. It was evident at a young age that she was going to be a woman of purpose and destiny. Kayleen, born Kia Kayleen Anderson, is a multi-talented woman on a mission to share her gifts and talents with the world as she has done. Praise God. She is an entrepreneur, writer, songwriter, model, actress, gospel recording artist, life empowerment coach, and a beautiful mother. And I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to bring her in, amen, and let her share with us who is Taylene after she opened us up in prayer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead, show us some love. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I am just uh, blessed and honored to be on with you all this evening, and I would love to open us up in prayer. So, Father God, we thank you. We honor you. We adore your holy and righteous name, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that all that will be spoken tonight, God, will touch the hearts of your people. God, we thank you, Lord, that, that music does heal souls, Father God, and it ministers to the hearts, Lord God. So I just pray that tonight, God, anyone that may be heartbroken or bruised or yes. or needs a touch from you tonight, God, that you will touch them in a special way, Lord. And God, I thank you, Lord, that as you continue to use us together, Lord God, that we'll be able to minister to the world the power and the love, the healing balm of Gilead of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, we Thank you tonight, Lord, and we just give you all of the praise, the honor, and the glory, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, amen, and hallelujah. God bless you tonight, Dr. Kelly. God bless you, mighty woman of God. Beautiful prayer. Amen. Such a time as this in the season. Who is? Taylene, this is your hour. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Amen. I'm the one that's been nervous. Amen. Praise you God. Know, but we give no, God. We give not, God the praise. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> we just going to have a conversation yeah. and just and just share. Who is Taleen? Well, Taleen is a lot of the things that you have stated in the bio, but most importantly, um, a woman of God who loves God, who loves the people, loves people of God who have all, you know, have always had a heart to to serve and then always have a heart to minister to others through through the gifts and the talents that God has given to me, whether it's through song, whether it's through my graphics and, and website uh, development company, whether it's through my, my jewelry company, no matter what it is, through, you know, ministry with church with my husband, um, you know, it's it's a pleasure and an honor to be able to utilize what God has given me to encourage and empower people uh, to bring forth healing and deliverance. Whatever it is that is needed in that time, however God wants to use me, that's how I want to be used. So if anybody were to say anything, you know, well, well, what kind of person is Celine? You know, I would hope that they would say that they, they, they could see the God in me and they could feel the love of God when they encounter me because that's very important to me. So all of the accolades are great. 
you know, I, I mean, you probably have a, a long paper in front of you of all of them, but at the end of the day, it's only what you do for Christ will last. And that's kind of been my motto ever since I gave my heart to the Lord in 1990, um, 1994 and then really didn't start walking with him until um, 1996. And so I'm just grateful for what he's doing in this season of my life as I am continue to grow and mature in the things of God. Um, it's just, it's a blessing. It's, it's really a blessing. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, it is. It is a blessing. Praise God to not only, as you stated so eloquently, Mrs. Kayleen, to a man to serve and to encourage and to empower people. Amen. And you also said, amen, uh, what kind of person, amen, uh, would you like for people to t- uh, explain who you are, describe who you are, like the way you set this up, they hope or you would hope that they can see the God in you. Yes, absolutely. Amen. They see the God in you. They feel the God in you. We do. Amen. Mrs. Taylor, you were always in, and I, and I want you to just relax because we're going to have some fun tonight on, on uh, positive power right here on this Worldwide Christian International Media. We're going to have some fun on tonight. Praise God. Right. So just just take off your, your shoes and just shout right where you are. Amen. Because we're going to have some pastor's time on tonight. Right. Amen. Praise right. God. And what is pastor's time? Amen. Sister, pastor's time is a time when, amen, where God has placed in Dr. Kelly, amen, a vision where people can shout to God. He is our pastor. Amen. The show is not Paul Kelly or Marcy Kelly. It's pastor's time. Amen. God is our shepherd. He is our pastor. Amen. And this is a show not only, amen, where you can share your spirit and passion, but your testimony where you can help somebody walk in victory. And we're going to do that in, on tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Mrs. Taylor, you've always been in pursuit of your dream at a very young age. Amen. Can you share with us, amen? Uh, I know you were selected, and I, I, I'm a fan of Atlantic Star, you know, back in the day. Amen. And the, the nation is waiting, and the viewers are waiting. Amen. You were always in pursuit of your dream. Amen. Tell us, amen, about your when you were selected as lead vocalist, and then we're going to move right into your career, if you'll be so kind and share with us. Amen. Yeah, that that part. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Sure, absolutely. Um, I was, at the time, I was the reigning uh, Miss Black USA first runner-up. And I got a call from my attorney at the time and that they were looking for a new lead female vocalist for the group Atlantic Star. Of course, I grew up on the group um, at the time. I was 23 years old and, you know, just a a, a young woman that was always, like you said, in pursuit of my my dream to, to sing and to record one day professionally and to sign with a major record label. That was that was my desire, my goal, and my dream. And so when I got the phone call um, from my attorney, they set up another phone call for me to actually um, to to audition for them over the phone. So I had an opportunity to talk with the group on the phone and audition and they were like, wow, she, she sounds a lot like Barbara, which I'm sure a lot of you um, probably have heard the songs by Barbara Weathers when she was a part of Atlantic Star. You know, there was Always and Secret Lovers and, and things like that, um, some of their, their greatest hits during those, those times and the heights of their career. And so at the time, they were looking for a new female vocalist. Uh, they were signed to... Uh, Arista Records, which of course is the same label that Whitney Houston was on, and she was at the height of her career with the Bodyguard soundtrack and I'll Always Love You, and um, yes, and so it was a it was a high time, I guess, for everybody, you know, trying to to record and you know get their things out there, and so they they um, they said they would give me a call back and. They did, and to let me know whether or not they wanted me to fly out to California. So I did. I flew out to California right straight off of the plane <laughs> and uh, roll into the studio to audition for the group. And, you know, it's crazy because you don't even think about at that age 
how, you know, most people would probably be tired. You know, you're going from a flight all the way from Washington, D.C. to to L.A., and that was my first time ever on a plane um, that, you know, I would be exhausted, you know, but I had, I guess, such an excitement and adrenaline rush about the experience, went straight to the studio, auditioned, um, and they said, well, you know, we're going to take a couple of days because we have a few more ladies that we want to audition and so you can we'll take you back to your hotel and you can kind of sightsee for the rest of the week and we'll let you know. So they brought me back to the studio at the end of the week. And um, I walked into the doors of the studio and there was a young lady standing there. And um, and she said, hey, you know, nice to meet you. My first name is Kia. She said, nice to meet you, Kia. Um, I'm Maxie. And I was like, Maxie, Maxie, the name <laughs> rang a bell. She was Maxie from the Mary Jane Girls. I don't know if you all are familiar with Mary Jane Girls back in the day, um, yes, Rick James's all-girl group. And Absolutely. so that was, you know, like cool to be able to get an opportunity to meet her. And she said, I think they're going to select you is why they brought you in. And I said, really, you think so? You think so, Maxie? She said, yeah, I yes, think so. I think they're going to select you. So they brought me into the studio, and it was like, we selected you, you know, as the new female vocalist for the group. And immediately <laughs> we started recording our first single, wow. um, which was entitled Everybody's Got Summer, which is an up-tempo song that was uh, produced by Vassal Benford, who produced Ralph Tresvant, Sensitivity, Brownstone, and a lot of oh, hosts of other people. Um, that, you know, I had an opportunity to work with and record the song. And it was just an amazing opportunity, you know, like, I thank God for allowing me to have the opportunity, but I also know he had a different plan for my life also. And so um, that's, you know, that's how that all kind of came about. Amen. Powerful. That is powerful. Absolutely, absolutely powerful. Always in pursuit of your dream. Amen. And you were selected at that time as the in my, and helped me out as the lead female vocalist. Is that correct? Yes, uh, that is correct. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. And you were also blessed to work with the award-winning songwriters, uh, Diane. I, I'm going. You you shared that this is your hour. This is your moment. Amen. Yeah. Songwriter. I think it was oh, at Diane. Da, Diane, Diane Warren. Warren. Yes, Ms. ma'am. Diane Warren is Hallelujah. like one of the most well um known sought after writers in, probably wow. in the world she has written you know so many hits after hits for uh Tony Braxton, Celine Dion, uh just so many different people and at the time um she was you know really close with Clive Davis. Clive Davis of course is the president of Arista Records at the time and the the man behind you know Whitney Houston um, career and so she um, did the did the song on the project and so I had an opportunity to work with her and she was really cool very down to earth really great to work with easy to work with because um, you know like you you're saying you might be nervous about interviewing with me but I was extremely <laughs> nervous about <laughs> meeting her and singing Very with sad. her with all of her you know many awards and accolades for all of the things that she had done in the industry. And it was a real pleasure. My mom got a chance to fly out and um, and meet her as well. And I had to go back and do a session um, and redo some vocals. But just, just a great person, you know, That's overall stupid. a good experience, yeah. Hallelujah, amen. Saline, amen. And uh, uh, Celine Dion, uh, Tony Braxton, Whitney Houston, mm-hmm. all those, just to name a few. Amen. On the other side of this song break, uh, did you bring some music with you? Amen. Uh, I know my producer, amen. He he going he gonna to share some with us. Amen. You you brought some beautiful music. I thought think we heard some coming in to the you know yeah, on the show. Yeah, um, right now currently I have several um, holiday singles out right now. Uh, the oh. one that you heard at the top of of, of right before the interview uh, was mm-hmm. Silent Night, and you know it's our Christmas classic. Everybody knows yes. Silent Night, but the way that the arrangement of this song. Um, just how it came about was just, I don't know, it was just different. And I Hallelujah. said, you know, I, I, like, I like the way this is going and, and the direction that it's going in. And so just decided to um, record that. And then recently I worked with 
Amanda Lynn, uh, 3HP Records, Troy Edwards. Shout out to uh, to the 3HP family. We did a holiday song together, which is called "Do You Hear What I Hear." A beautiful, beautiful um, song, also as well. So it was a great opportunity to be able to work with her. Uh, she's an up and coming uh, artist, and um, she's you know work with Fred Hammond. She's going to be in his upcoming movie, and so she's got a lot of wonderful things about to happen. We're um, doing some things together during the holiday season. We're going to be, you know, uh, you know, ministering the song in a several different events and things. And so on the 21st of December, I will be uh, taping, doing a live taping of the show called The Platform. And um, it's a brand new show. It's going to be, you know, featuring up and coming talent, um, maybe that you guys maybe have never heard of, and as well as national acts. So I will be on the next taping with Isaiah Thomas, who's a stellar award winning artist. He actually wrote the song for uh, Marvin Sapp, Never Would Have Made It. And he's a DMD also person. <laughs> um, um So. Um, he is from the D.C., Maryland, Virginia. The DMV stands for D.C., Maryland, and Virginia area. And so we're just going to come and converge in Baltimore. We're going to have a great time. The taping is in Baltimore. Um, and, you know, looking forward uh, to that being, you know, released. I'm definitely going to let everybody know. So you got to follow me on social media, you guys. Uh, Tulane Music on Facebook, on um, yeah. on Instagram, I'm Tulane. On Twitter, I'm Tulane Music. And um, that way you can kind of keep up with me. Uh, that's T-A-L-E-I-N is how you spell Talene, uh, and that's how you pronounce it, Talene. So I was telling Jerry, I said, now how you can remember to how to pronounce my name is think about Talene and machine. So he said, and then I said, well, you know, I have an easier way to help you. My mom calls me Talene the singing machine. So, um, you know, that helps people to pronounce my name because I know it's not a common name. It's actually a mixture of my mother's first name and my grandmother's middle name. Absolutely. So um, my mother's very creative, as you can see also. <laughs> Absolutely. Shout and, out to mom. Um, yeah, shout out to my mom. Yes, ma'am. Smith. Bless you, mommy. Love you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Mrs. Talene Harris, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, amen, to Positive Power Worldwide Christian Music, amen, right here on Pastor's Time International Bible College, amen, you're listening, amen, to Talene Harris, an award-winning artist known for her angelic voice and explosive stage performance, amen. On the other side of the song break, Mrs. Talene, amen, we're going to listen to some of your beautiful, beautiful music, and when you come back, ma'am, share with us, amen, about the song that we're getting ready to hear, amen. And I also want to thank our CEO, producer, Mr. Jerry Royce, amen, for setting up this powerful, exclusive interview, amen. Show him some love out there, nation, amen. Just give him some love yeah, and some hearts. Give him some love. Give him some That's hearts right. on Facebook. That's right. Show me some love, somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's shout out also to Carlton McConnell right. from Round the Clock Entertainment for uh, connecting uh, Jerry and I also. What Here a blessing um, he is, too. Absolutely. Yes. Amen. Robot kick it. Show us some love. Taylene Harris, ladies and gentlemen. Taylene Harris. Hey Amen. And, and before we uh, we just have that one song, uh, Colton didn't send okay. me the whole library. <laughs> but anyway, for, uh, shout out to Taylene. Taylene, you know what? I think I'll be able to make it. To the to the table. I think I got my dates mixed Will up. Will you be able to come? Yeah, oh, cool. yeah. Better awesome. make it hang. Great. Yeah. We'll get a chance to to meet, and you'll get a chance to to meet all of the other people that will be um, ministering that night. Awesome. Yeah, that's right. Great. We maybe be able to work out some behind the scene footage of Tate Lean doing her thing. So, um, all right. Awesome. That's yeah. gonna be great. Because you said the twenty first, right? That's the twenty first. Yeah, December yeah. the twenty first. Yes, I, I'm in Thanks. town. I, I had my dates mixed up. Batman is home. All right. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're going, glad you were going to be able to be there. That's yeah. awesome. Amen. All right. So this is this is the the only song that the Colton sent me. Is he was um he was holding him close to his heart. So this is what it's called. 
<laughs> you be holding them close to his heart. Well, if anybody wants to purchase my my, I have a debut CD. It's called "Don't Turn Your Back on God." It is available on iTunes, and um, you know it has some really powerful songs on there. And it's a very eclectic mix. One of the things about yeah. me as an artist is I really try to make sure that I'm not um, putting myself in a box. Um, it has like some, you know, some kind of reggae feeling, um, R and B sounds, some, you know, some uh, contemporary uh, sounding tracks. So it has a, a a mixture of songs on that, and it was it was co-written by my mom, Latina Smith, who who oh, was man. phenomenal with writing, mm-hmm. also, and so she's going to be working um, working with me on some of my upcoming. Um, songs that we're working together. Um, Powerful Warrior is one that her and I have written together that's going to be released in 2019. So I'm really excited about, um, you know, the the Stellar Award Week because I'm going to be there and I'm going to have an opportunity to share some of my brand new music then. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Nation, go out and support this dynamic music. Amen. Don't turn your back on God. Amen. By Talene. Talene Harris. Amen. Support that music. And where can we pick this up at, uh, Mrs. Talene? Yeah, if you go on iTunes, you know, you can, you just, or just search on me, T-A-L-E-I-N, on Google. Just Google me. You'll see I'm everywhere. Um, you can Absolutely. purchase you know the music there and um and I pray that it blesses you you know there's yes. one of the things that um when I used to have my show the divine lifestyle show with Celine I had a radio internet radio and television show for uh from 2009 to about 2012 and I really um loved presenting up and coming artists that no one had ever heard of before but had really mm-hmm. powerful music and awesome testimonies and i think a lot of times we listen to people's music and we don't really know who they are we don't really you know can't really gather totally you know who they are just by listening to their music so you need things yeah. shows like this you know that will give the artists an opportunity to um um, give the artists an opportunity to be able to share who they are and and, and what they've been through and the things that they've overcome, so their testimonies can be a blessing to people. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, mighty woman of God. Amen. Join us, amen, on the other side of the song break. Amen. When we come back, we can talk more about your song. Amen. We're going to sure. listen to this beautiful music. Amen. I love it. My wife and I are listening to Don't Turn Your Back on God. That's beautiful music, ma'am. And we're very, very inspired by the arrangements of that CD, ma'am. Very inspired. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. Robot. Amen. <laughs>
Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Prozive Power 21, Jerry was live worldwide. Welcome, 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 welcome back, amen, to Pastor Time International Bible College, right here on World, Jerry Royce, Worldwide Christian Media and iHeart Media. We have a very special guest with us tonight, amen, Taylene, Taylene Harris, award-winning artist known for her angelic voice and explosive stage presence, amen, beautiful music, silent night, holy night, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, amen, if you really want to know where that comes from, amen. Matthew 2 and 11, they saw the young child with his mother, amen. We're talking about our state. We're talking about Jesus. Silent night, holy night. All is calm. All is bright. Round young virgin, mother and child, amen. Welcome back. Mrs. Talene, amen. Share with us, amen, your vision with that, with that song. Yeah, with that song, it you know, it was, I, I love a lot of our classic uh, Christmas songs, and yes, um, I was just kind of, you know, it was probably maybe around October, and I said, you know, I really would like to do to do a really nice classic Christmas song. This was a while back, and so um, just kind of sat down with the producer and, um, you know, just started humming silent night. It was a holy night. And so from there, you know, we just, it just kind of evolved, you know. And um, I wanted to do something that was, that was different from the traditional version because yeah. it's like everybody kind of flipped the traditional version, but it still sounded the same. <laughs> if Absolutely. that made any sense. And so I wanted to, um, I wanted something that would really um, minister to people's hearts and touch the hearts of people. Even when I'm listening to the song, you know, there are certain parts and certain notes that I held and things like that, 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 you know, give me, puts me in a certain posture and mindset about my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, and just thinking about, you know, how he he came into the earth and and how he lived, yes. you know, a life that was that of his of his father so that we could have an example as to how to live. And so... Um, you know, my mom, she always teases me. She says, you know, there's such a unique little part when you say Mary's little baby boy. You know, it's like yes. those little pieces that that were interjected during the process of, you know, creating the the song. And so, um, you know, my, my heart's desire always is when I do something that it glorifies God and then it yes. blesses people. Glorifying so. God and blessing people. Your husband, a man, is very instrumental in your music career, in your in your pretty much in your ministry, just as well as your wonderful mother. Share with us to share with the nation, a man, that that the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh, <laughs> man. Praise God, a man. Yes. With, with, with help. Praise God. Talk to us, a man, about your husband. I know he's very instrumental as I read I read further into your bio, a man. Yes. I, yeah, he's he is a wonderful man of God. I truly Praise am God. Um, blessed to have him in my life. You know, we encounter people and we meet people, but it's other people, you know, that God will send into your life for you to really connect and build a life with and build Absolutely. a legacy with and bless people, you know, you two together you know, can be a blessing to, to the body of Christ and to those that don't know him. And Absolutely. so I love my husband because he's really, you know, if you meet him in person, he's like really cool and laid back. But when you right see him now. minister, he's like explosive. <laughs> he's up. like, this, you know, he's like this runaway train for the Lord. And it's such yeah. a, a wonderful um thing to, to watch and experience his ministry and then just to be a part of his ministry um 
you know, we do pastor a church here in the Atlanta metro area in Decatur, Georgia, called Spirit of Glory Worship Center. That's and it. um, you know, we we love our congregation. So shout outs to our to our SOG family. God bless you all. Thank you for your love and support. And they they do. They love us and so um as an apostle he's been gifted, you know, in so many ways to um to share the word of God and to break it down and to bring forth revelation and knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Um he has a prayer call that he's been doing for over eight years and he's it used to be at five thirty in the morning, he get up really, really early and he's Man. like this runaway freight train for the Lord um in prayer and and yes. worship and um he's also a musician he plays i was t- teasing someone the other day saying that he probably wouldn't want me to say that because he doesn't <laughs> consider himself a musician but to me he he's been playing for a long time also um and so we get together you know in our studio here in our home and we sing and we play and we worship God um, together, you know, in our in our private time also, which those things spill over into how we're able to minister to others yes, um, out of our overflow. So he's he's a blessing. He's supportive, um, and and he's committed and dedicated to the things of God. And so we share that, you know, Absolutely. commonality together. And his name? John F. Harris. I didn't even say his name, did I? Hey, hey. Me. <laughs> Look, I'm so busy talking about him. Yes, Apostle John F. Harris is his hey, name. Man. Amen. We give the we give a kind shout out, Amen, to Apostle John Harris in the spirit of glory, worship, praise God, and we also send prayers. I would love to fellowship with you all, Amen. Uh, yeah. Just 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 inbox us and let us know when you have some events, and we'll okay. we'll. We will cordially, amen, uh, be there. Hallelujah. All right. Sounds amen. good. You got to let us know when we come so we can roll out the holy red carpet for you all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We're right here in Augusta, so in the okay. beautiful city of Augusta, so we're right here close. Amen. I feel something special, amen, birthed in my spirit, but we're going to allow God to, amen, to fulfill that prophecy. I really feel yeah. something special. We, we'd like to thank all of our listeners and, amen, and our viewers for tuning in. And, hey man, Mrs. Celine, we're gonna play a we're gonna play a little game here. Praise God, hey man. I like to have fun, hey man. I'm gonna name a uh, great celebrity or an, or a person, and I want you to name. I want you to just connect in your own way. It ain't no wrong answer. And this is just an opportunity <laughs> you for me on the spot. <laughs> Amen. There's no wrong or no wrong answer. Amen. Uh, we want all our audience to you know to chime in on this too. Katrina Littleshaw, Amen. Uh, John Ross, all y'all, Brianna uh, Lingre, uh, Green, Gilbert Shines, uh, Shines, y'all tune in. Y'all uh, play along with us. Praise God. This is a Keith Bailey, Amen. This is time for our audience to participate too. We have a lot of fun on the show. So, Mrs. Lee, what we're gonna do? We're gonna. This is Dr. Kelly, Amen. Uh, co-host, or I should say, the host show. This is the. Okay. Well, you normally take a, a ride down Gospel Memory Lane tonight. We're gonna take a ride down the host show night. The host All show, right. Amen. All I'm gonna do is name the person or the host, and you name what show, Amen. Here we go. Don Cornelius. Oh, praise. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Come on, audience. Y'all can, you y'all know, can come in I there with I had an opportunity to meet Don Cornelius. He's pretty I cool. I had a feeling you did. Yeah, praise. I took a picture with him. He was, he was a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. How how was his what his he was always a favorite of ours growing up on Saturday mornings. Praise mm-hmm. God. You know it. Amen. Don mm-hmm. Cornelius. Amen. His spirit legendary. We salute his family. Praise God. How did how did you feel being around him? You know, when you meet people like that, um, that night was a really special night for me. I had an opportunity to meet Don Cornelius. I had an opportunity to meet Stevie Wonder. Um, I had an opportunity to meet Gamble and Huff, who was like oh, the oh. epitome of writers um, and producers in 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 an era of like the seventies on up to you know the nineties, so I it was surreal. You know how you meet people. I think I even met Phyllis Hyman that night. Wow. Also, um, it you know it was just a really it was so many 
uh, great in the room that night, and yeah. it makes you feel like, wow, you know, you're you're honored. You know, it's a privilege. Um, I remember shaking Stevie's hand, and I said, oh. you know, Mr. Wonder, thank you so much for your music. Like, your music has been life to so many people and uh, a blessing to so many people. So thank you so much um, for, you know, for your music. It's, it's you know, it's wonderful. Yeah. So he grabbed me by the hand, and he pulled me a little closer. He <laughs> said, what's your, what's your name? I want to know your name. <laughs> and it's interesting because, you know, when you, when you watch the movie, um, what's the name of the movie with the, with the other guy that plays the piano and sings as blind? Oh, my goodness. Ray Jones. Played by Jamie Foxx. Ray Jones. My mind went totally blank. Huh? Ray Jones. Yes, Ray Charles. Thank you. So you know how you in the movie with Ray Charles, how he would hold the woman's hand and then he would go up her wrist, I guess, to kind of try to see her. <laughs> Stevie Wonder did the same thing, but I didn't know that back then, you know, like what that meant so until later on. But, yeah, he was a really nice nice person um Absolutely. you know he he wanted to know who what my name was so i thought that was interesting praise god that's beautiful amen we're not finished amen we got i got four more now amen okay. you got that one all right I'm no more you. stories let me answer all the questions that's right, okay man, no this that's part of it amen <laughs> I, I i want i knew that amen i and no, I, I looked i checked you out okay <laughs> So, Trey, hey, man, here's the next one. And audience, y'all got to be quick with this, hey, man, because Mrs. Celine, she's very quick. Hey, man, I named the host, you named their show. Donnie Simpson. Donnie Simpson. Oh, oh, uh, Video Soul. All right. Is that, video is that, soul? that right? Is that the name of yes, it? Man. Yes, ma'am. I mean, Ralph I know Duke. he had the Donnie on Simpson it? show on the radio, but he had a show. He was actually one of the first video um, shows in the D.C. Maryland, well, actually internationally because he was on BET, I believe. That was his, his right. the first time. And a lot of people got their videos on his show because Absolutely. there was not really an outlet for you to, to mm -hmm. show your videos until his Praise show came God. along. Yeah, video. I Praise think it was called Video Soul. Is that right, producer Jerry Royce? Hey, man. Right, Jerry? I, I think so. That, that was one of my favorite shows, too. I, I loved some BT back then. I spent a lot of time it. watching it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing what I'm doing now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our producer puts me in the mind of Don Cornelius, Jerry Roy. <laughs> <Amen. laughs> yep, I was He's right. I had to Google it. Yep, Video Soul, Donnie Simpson. Video Soul, praise God. Amen. All right. Come on, y'all. Come on, uh, audience. Y'all got to help us out. Praise God. Amen. The next one is Bobby Jones. Of course. Bobby Jones Gospel. Everybody knows Bobby that. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Jones oh, Gospel. Wow. Yeah. Gospels. Amen. We had the honor of actually interviewing him right here, ma'am. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pastor's time. Amen. Was an awesome yeah. time on this show platform. Amen. He's a he's a family member. Amen. He's also yeah. honored serving on our board, Pastor's Time okay. International Bible awesome. College. Amen. Yeah, Very I've warm. had an opportunity to meet him several times. Praise God. Awesome. Amen. Here's the next one. Audience, y'all gotta y'all gotta step it up. Somebody answered it out there too. Praise God, ma'am. Praise God. Are they answering out there? Let me yeah. see what y'all doing. Y'all getting the answers right? <laughs> they watch. Don't talk back to me, Mr. Lee. Will you produce her? Yeah, I said they just, they just watching. God. Amen. Yeah, they just they trying to Google, and Taylene getting it out there too fast. <laughs> what they doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it out before they can Google it. Yeah, they slow. They slow typers. <laughs> I'm, I'm the music Google. Like I have all this stuff in my head, man. Hallelujah. We got two more, hey, Amen. And I'm I'm excited to get to you. We got two more, and I'm excited to get to you. Your 1992, after 1992, that era, hey, Amen. We want to talk about your uh, your your your, uh, your ministry right after that, and we'll I'll just set it up, and then you talk to us about it, hey, Amen. Okay. We got two more, Dick Clark. Come on, that's that's oh, back in our gosh, come on, American Bandstand. There we go. <laughs> that's like that's, that's like, like the, the the classic. That's right up there with Soul Train. I mean, yes, you gotta get that one. Dick Clark is is, is he was around forever. 
Doctor Doctor Marvin Smith, Amen. You know about Dick Clark, Amen. We have a lot of lot of viewers are watching us tonight, Amen. And I they they tuning in to help, Amen. Uh, you bless us with this show, praise God. So we just want to we just want to make you feel at home, praise God. The last one is Walt Baby Love. Come on, sister. Oh man. Yes. Right, Dang, I can't read now. You, now you didn't stop me. Like I, I can't remember the name of Walt's show. Oh my is, goodness! It was like the top, some, the top twenty. Top. Oh man, I can't remember. Okay, <laughs> Jerry, you know it. I was, know you. Was that Moon Man connection? That was that Moon Man? Huh? Moon Man connection? Is that right? Uh, Walt, Walt Baby Love. Is, isn't it the same title as his name? Ooh. Is it? Well, get out of here. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't Walt. know. I thought he actually had a name for the show. Hold <laughs> on, let me now see now you're gonna make me Google it. <laughs> when you Google it, you come on and give us a man. I'm just giving the audience a just just a chance. To Anybody come on in there. the audience get it? Did they yeah, get think, it? They might not even know who Walt yeah, Baby Love is. I think is. that's what they call it. <laughs> I was called Walt Super Baby Love. Out there, Kevin Ryan. Hey, man. That's a that's a that's a trivia. I actually have the answer. I'm just going to see if someone's going to chime in, and I think Mrs. Taylor is going to get the answer because she's on the road. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't re- I gospel remember tracks. him. Gospel I tracks. Can't remember gospel tracks. Right, huh? yeah. well, he actually had three three syndicated shows. Well, see one out of all of those. That's not too bad. I, I don't see too bad. <laughs> I think I should win a prize. You know how you Man. do on, like, you know, uh, let's make a deal. and Yeah, you get a prize. <laughs> You get to visit the you get to visit the studios of of Wayne Manor Studios in Charm City, <laughs> but you got to pay yeah, for it. Yeah, that's God. all right. <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. Amen. Before I go to the, I want to set this thing up in 1992. Amen. Uh, when you gave your life to the Lord. Amen. But before I get, before I go there, I want to bring in our producer, Mr. Jerry Royce. If, if we have any questions for you, praise God. Amen. And, and then we're going to jump right back into this. I got some powerful, powerful stuff that I know that you'll be able to help our listening viewers. Amen. On And, and they're walking this. Uh, in the gospel journey, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, amen. The producer, amen, of Jerry Royce Live, amen. Come on in, Doc, and share with us, amen, some of, yeah. you know, your spirit, what you have for Mrs. Staline. <laughs> Man, I haven't talked to Taylene so much on the phone. I don't even know what to ask her. <laughs> she told me everything. <laughs> she told me everything. But, you know what? But the exciting thing, I, I do have a question, though. Taylene, what was it like? representing the state of Merle and then moving on in, in, in pageantry? Because, you know, you, you hear a lot of, you know, some of the bad things and some of the good things about pageantry. And I know your mom was really close with you back then. But can you tell us, mm-hmm. you know, in your own words, you know, the experience, what the experience was like for you? Yeah, sure. Um, one of the things that I absolutely love about pageants is it really gives you an opportunity to find some things about yourself that you may not have necessarily known. Um, One of the things that the Miss Black USA scholarship pageant was the pageant line that I was a part of. Um, I mean, I won my very first pageant in my high school as a junior in high school, and nobody really knew um, about my singing talent. And so when I sung an original song, by the way, um, just kind of blew the judges away and they were just, the whole school just was like in an uproar. Like they just didn't know that I had that talent because all of the things that I was doing pretty much was outside of school. And that was like the first thing that I had done, um, in my high school. So that's kind of how I got the pageant bug. Um, if you will, I, um, you know, went from my high school pageant, um, in 1988 and I'm dating myself now, but anyway, 1988. And then, um, when I graduated high school and went into, um, into college, um, and then someone told me about this Miss Black Maryland, um, pageant. And I was like, okay, well, let me try it, you know, because I liked it because it was a talent portion, 
to this particular pageant line. And some of the lines that they have out there, it's just about speaking and swimwear and evening gown and stuff like that. But with with this pageant, it was about a platform that you would go out into your community and you would serve your community. Well, that was something that I had never done before. And so, but I love people. So it was an easy thing for me to do, um, just going out and encouraging and talking to people, you know, young people in the job who are going and singing to, to the sick in the hospital, going yeah. to, uh, you know, hug and love on the border babies at Howard University Hospital and all of the different things and opportunities that I got a Amen. chance to do um, as, you know, serving my state um, as Miss Black Maryland and ultimately first runner-up Miss Black USA. Um, and, and I just, I learned a lot. I got a chance to meet a lot of wonderful young women who were smart, intelligent, bright, um, had bright futures, who have gone on to do great things. A lot of my pageant, uh, we call our pageant uh, pageant queen sisters, our sister queens, <laughs> yeah, um, yes, have ma'am. gone on to do really, really great things. And and so it was an, an honor, you know, to be a part of um, of that pageant system and to to share my gifts and talents. I actually won the community service award. Um, during the Miss Black USA scholarship pageant, and um, and you know that I think gave me more pride and more than winning the crown, you yeah. know, and actually winning the crown um, that Absolutely. I I got an award for the out of all of the fifty young ladies who you know mm. were pageant queens also uh, for for that for the state of Maryland. So that was a blessing. That's right. DMV in the house. Now I got one, one last question. Now, a lot of, a lot of entertainers, well, you know, a lot of independents, you know, they, they love going out and perform, love going out and perform. Then you talk to me about, you know, your experience working in Atlantic city out there for two years. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Yeah, I was really, really blessed. Hallelujah. God has always given me um, opportunities to, and sending me into places that may not be necessarily um, a place that you would think that we wouldn't go. But God is looking to reach the unchurched and the unsaved. And so I had an opportunity to really have a lot of creative control. Um, I was co-hosting in this show. I started out as a guest cast a guest artist um on the show and um just did a Whitney Houston tribute um during the show and they loved it so much that they brought us back and then the the, the second time that they brought us back I was co hosting the show and where I was, you know, singing half of the songs and he was singing the other um gentleman was singing half of the songs and we did duets together and things like that and the thing that I remember the most about um, the time of being in Atlantic City was there was this lady that came up to me because you know you encounter all type of people you're in a you know I was in the world renowned resorts hotel which is the oldest hotel on the on the boardwalk there in Atlantic City and people like you know the Rat Pack Whitney Houston Marvin Gaye I mean everybody mm. and anybody in music has come through that place and performed at that venue and it only seats 1500 people but it's very intimate and normally we had a sold out packed crowd almost every night that we were there and wow. people kept coming back you know um, if they were there that week they just kept coming back to the show because they enjoyed it so much and it was a family oriented entertaining show um and so i remember this lady she came up to me and she said you know your voice just blessed my it just went to the core of my soul mm. and i just i know that you're a woman of god and i really need prayer now this lady was drunk i mean she was <laughs> reeking of alcohol Ooh. but it just reminded wow. me of how Jesus encountered different people mm -hmm. in the Bible. And he didn't, like, shun them or turn them away, but he ministered to them where they were. Mm -hmm. And so she Hallelujah. came to me and she said, I really, my sister is about to have brain surgery tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here. And I know I'm drinking and you probably like, why is this drunk lady coming to me asking me for <laughs> prayer? But I, I really her. feel led to have you to pray with me. Mm. 
And I and she said, "Will you pray with me?" And I said, "Absolutely." And I grabbed her hand right there in the in the um, vestibule area where we were signing autographs and selling yes. T-shirts and CDs, and none of that mattered at that moment. Mm. It was about her and and her prayer request and what she asked me for. That's right. So I grabbed her hand and I um I prayed with her. And later on, you know, the show was all over, and I, I came back home, and I got this message in my inbox on Facebook. Yes. And she said, Talene, I want to thank you for praying with me. I know I was a mess oh that God. day, but mm-hmm. I thank you for praying with me because my sister is doing good. She's wow. doing well. The mm-hmm. surgery's been great. You know, she's in recovery, and she's doing really well. And that really blessed yes. me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, because, like I said, you never know. Like no. when you encounter people at the top of the show, when I talked about that, when 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 people encounter you, you want them to feel the love of God and the mm. presence of God, yes. and that you're you're you could be there in the capacity for them to pray for them or you know believe or trust God with them for something in their lives or be a testimony you know God may yeah. heal you from a brain tumor or something that's, right. I mean, that's not my testimony but that could be someone's testimony you need to share that with somebody because Preach that's sister. God's miracle working power working in your life hallelujah mm. the power of prayer amen, amen. thank you Jerry Royce Hey man, I like that. Hey man, you 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 got her preaching, Jerry. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Congratulations. Just sharing, just sharing. No yeah, that was awesome. That was. I can't wait to meet her. You know, she is a home girl, DMV. You know, you know, Charles Clark put it out there that we have to start supporting this area, Taylor. And you know, I was always I was going everywhere but the DMV until I met Summer. And then Steven Turner came back in my life. We actually went to engineering school together. And um, he came back in my life. And I'm like, it's so much talent here. And here I am yeah. bringing all these people from all over the country here to Positive Power. And we have our own people right here doing their thing, just like you. You know, made it. Absolutely. Made it big, you know. So uh, so uh, so thank you so much, you know, for instilling thank that. Thank you. Thank you, you know. for allowing me to share. Amen. Uh, sometimes you do radio shows and or, or appearances and things, and you don't really get the opportunity to really share your heart. You know, you Absolutely. may have 10 or 15 minutes, and it's not a whole That's lot right. that you can share in that time frame. But mm-hmm. it's a blessing. You know, this, this show kind of reminds me a lot of my show that I had because I, I took time with the artists yeah. and I allowed there them you to go. share their heart. I allowed them to share their testimony because people really do need to know who mm-hmm. are you listening to? That's right. you know, what kind of people are they, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, man. Well, You're it right. definitely takes a gift, amen. And Jerry Royce is he's right, amen. He's my spiritual ministry partner, amen. Uh, he not only misses to lean that he's my spiritual partner, but he's also the chair of our Bible college, amen, International wow. Bible College. He chairs the uh, website. So wow. he is a special man indeed, praise God. Thanks, Congratulations sir. on your Baltimore, amen, your, your pageantry and your runner-up of Miss USA, amen. And he, I, I notice, and I'm a... I'm a a prime believer in listening with the heart. And I caught that when you said it taught you how to tell things about yourself you didn't know. Mm-hmm. I caught that, amen, uh, mm-hmm. about yourself, amen. That's the pastor in me. It, it, it taught you your, your passion, your, your spirit of reach, amen, outreach, amen. And then you, you capped it off as Jerry was asking those powerful questions. He, he can dig deep. The power of prayer, amen, and feeling the presence of God, amen. But this is this show is about you, amen. We're going to close this out on these last few minutes, amen. After you leaving the group Atlantic Star, Miss Sister Lean, in 1993, mm-hmm. you kind of went through, you know, some periods. I'm not going to uh, express a lot on that. This is a joy show, amen. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. You, 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 you're you walking with God, and you never look back. Yeah. We're going we're just gonna let you end the show on that, amen. Not looking back. Yeah. Give some advice out there, mighty woman of God, amen, on that not looking back and looking forward. Help somebody out there on tonight, amen, about don't don't look back. When you do think of the good things, how God lifted you up. 
preach, sister. This is your moment. <laughs> no, it's not some moment. I don't Hold care, up. though. You know, I, I ministered a sermon on don't look mm-hmm. in the rearview mirror. Um, there's the are so I'm many deep things. On you. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things that God has for you that are in front of you. And oftentimes we get distracted by the things that are in our past Uh, past relationships, past hurts, past pains, you know, past um, abuse, whatever it is that you have suffered in your past, Mm. it's, it's not what should be in the forefront of your future or even in your present. And so oftentimes we have to to look toward the future and look towards the things that God has for us, the good things, and use the bad things as a stepping stool. Use it as a platform to be able to say that you overcame it, that you were a conqueror. You're more than a conqueror through he who loves you. And so as you love God the more, he's going to allow you to conquer more. He's going to allow you to overcome more. And you become a, a, a victorious person versus a victim. And so one of the things that I can say is that when you look in the mirror, you want to make sure that you continue to speak to yourself positive things so that you can get to the positive places in your future that God has for you and surround yourself. I can't say this and stress this enough with positive people, with people that love you, that care about you, that will tell you when you're wrong, that will tell you when you're right, that will encourage you when you need it, that will help lift you up in prayer, that will help you get to your destiny and your purpose in life. Those are the types of people that you want to surround yourself with so that you can get to the promise that God has for your life. So don't look in the rearview mirror. Continue to stay focus and keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. 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 Don't look in the rearview mirror. When you do, look forward as she said to lean. Amen. Harris. Remind yourself to stay around the positive people. Amen. And remember the obstacles are there to give you victory. Wow. We ain't through. We ain't through, ma'am. Amen. <laughs> we get ready to close out. Amen. Give uh, who are some shout out, some some, you mentioned your mother, amen. This is your moment to give some special shout-outs maybe to your mom, your children, or whomever in your spirit. Praise God. Yeah, amen. I want to give a shout-out to my wonderful husband, uh, John F. Harris, uh, to our children, uh, Elise, Haley, Austin, and Justin. Um, I want to shout-out to my mom, which you all have heard me shout-out to my mother, Latina Smith, to uh, Papa Binks. You, Papa Binks Papa knows Binks. who he is. Love Papa Papa Banks, thank you so much for all that you have done um, in, in my life and in my family. Uh, Live to our Spirit of Glory Worship Center family. Thank you for your love and support. To Carlton McConnell, Round the Clock Entertainment for this interview and all that you do behind the scenes. And a dear brother, uh, we've been friends for 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 many many years and and doing a lot of work together in the kingdom, just pushing forward the movement for artists to be heard and to be seen by people that they may have never ever been seen or heard from before. Uh, Also, want to thank. Uh, Troy Edwards from 3HP Records and um, the entire 3HP family. Thank you so much for supporting me and all that we're going to be doing in the near future with my with my singles and music that's going to be coming out. Um, my brother. <laughs> Corey Anderson, thank you, bro, for uh, always being there and loving your loving your big sister. I appreciate Hallelujah. you. And um, that's all I can think of. And anyone else, oh, my God, charge it to my head, not my heart. I promise you I love all of you all. <laughs> to Jerry, thank you, Jerry. Thank you for allowing me yes. uh, to come on this evening and to share. And to you, Dr. Paul Kelly and your beautiful, lovely bride, thank you all so much for what you're doing in the kingdom. Because one of the things that we have to do is Mm -hmm. take back the media from the enemy. We have to take back the media from the enemy. And the only way to do that is to do the types of things that you're doing tonight. So thank you. 
And God Praise bless God. you. And may God continue to smile upon you and bless everything that your hands touch for the kingdom. Amen. Praise. Amen. Well, we definitely Amen. receive that. Praise God. Amen. You remind me of some encouraging word that Dr. Jesse Jackson, amen, reminded me uh, during an interview on BET several years ago. Your spirit reminded me of the same encouragement that he gave me. Amen. The young in our ministry, but I knew God had touched something big, just like he's doing with you. Yeah. Praise God. So I, I feel I feel not only this is like the beginning of what God is getting ready for you, but it's the epitome of what God has for you. Just, I, I feel something big, ma'am. I, I really do. Hey, Amen. Um, I feel an invitation also that's coming from your church. I'm going to bring, hey, amen, two books. I'm already there. I feel it. I'm just going to bring two books, hey, amen, that are personally signed by us. The, these books are powerful educational books, hey, amen, that has been getting great reviews, uh, uh, top 100 bestsellers books. Literally, these are powerful books. And I'm going to bring them with me because I know I'm going to be there. So when I get an invitation to your church, these books, I got to get them to you. So you got to let me know okay. when I'm going to come now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got you, sir. I got you. <laughs> Praise God. We would love Amen. to have you all come and, and fellowship and worship with us because that's what it's truly all about. Absolutely. You know, we, we often in, in ministry uh, find a lot of ministries that want to be kind of like an island, but we really there need you each other, and we have to work on these. I, the people that God may have for me to touch may not be the same people that he may have for you to touch, but when we all mm. come together, then we're touching the lives that God wants us to touch, and, and, and we need to support each other, especially if, if you say you love God too. <laughs> That's it. Amen. amen. Well, we're going to let you touch this audience. Amen. I'm listening audience. Amen. With a close out in the prayer. But we want to end this show on. Do you hear? Do you hear what I hear? Amen. With Talene, Talene Harris. We want to hear. We're just going to end that on the song break and come back on the prayer. Amen. Is that OK? Amen. Great, and and it's featured. Also, I'm featured on the track, but it's Amanda Lynn's. Uh, do you hear what I hear featuring me, Celine Harris? Hallelujah, Amen. Producer, you want to do it that way, sir? Or just go ahead and pray. Go ahead and close out. Yeah, go ahead and pray, and we can end on the song. Is, would that work for you, Celine? Is that good? Yep, that's okay. fine with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you tonight, God. Oh, Truly, God. you are an awesome and yes. mighty and powerful God. And, God, we thank you for the words that have been spoken tonight. God, oh, we yes, pray God. that it will encourage somebody no matter what day or time that they listen thank to you, They God. listen to it on the thank replay. God, we know, Father, that there are so many people that need you. So we ask tonight, God, that you touch the hearts and minds and souls of those who don't know you, Lord God, that need to come to know who you thank are you, and to give their lives to you and their hearts to you, Father God, most importantly. God, we thank you for everyone that is listening, all of the listening audience, Father God, and all of, of the people that are associated with this wonderful broadcast, Father. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for them. I thank you for their hearts to serve, yes, Lord, those that are in media and giving them a platform to be able to share their testimonies yes. and their gifts with the world. God, we thank you for increasing Increase right now in thank the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for increase for the media, Father God, and, and, and the deals that are going to come forward on the table in 2019. God, I thank you, Lord, that it's going to be more than they've ever thought before, God. And I thank you, Lord, that they're going to use it for the advancement and the upbuilding of your kingdom, God, oh, yes. giving oh, yes. others opportunity to spread the love of God and the joy and the peace thank of the Lord, thank you, Father, for giving us strength to endure that which you have purposed each and every one of us to do tonight. And, God, we love you with all of our heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit, oh, yes. God, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus, amen, man. amen, and amen. God bless amen. you all. Thank you so much for allowing me to be on this evening with you. Hallelujah. This is not the last time. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us with the, tonight. Amen. And a special guest, celebrity guest, Talene Harris, award-winning artist known for his angelic voice and explosive stage presence. We thank you, amen. And remember Psalms 34, divine providence. I will bless the Lord at all times. 
and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Happy holidays to all. I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly, my beautiful co-host, Marcy Kelly. We give you all love. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, and God bless this nation. Thank you, Tulane. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Thank you, producer Jerry Royce. Thanks, Jerry. You're listening to Jerry Slide Worldwide Podcast.
All right, family. We want to thank you all for tuning in. And thank you so much, Daylene, for sharing your blessing and your gift. That's right, and your love for God. Thank you, Dr. Paul Kelly. Thank you, Brother Carlton, for making this show. That's right, the show is brought to you by Round the Clock Management and Passes Time International Bible College. That's right, you're looking for affordable and quality college. Hit us up at Passes Time at Yahoo.com or hit up Jerry Woods Live Worldwide at gmail.com and we'll get you enrolled and get you started that's right working on your degree your associate your bachelor your master's or your doctor degree so hit us up at passestime.com all right everybody have a good night and of course we got more programming that's right we got another episode of blue flame coming up so stay on facebook live till it turns off i'm jerry was live worldwide aka the batman the charm city baby take care everybody and we love you we love you can you feel the power Feel the power. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide.